Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're still right here in the middle of winter, day five now. Getting a little bit into it. Bundle up, it's gonna snow tomorrow. I, again, I don't know why I ever bother looking at the weather. And spirits are annoyed, that's fine I suppose. So, right off the bat, oh, okay, what's this? Sorry about what happened at my place yesterday. My mom can get into a bad mood sometimes. Please just forget it happened. Well, good news, I did forget that it happened because I'm recording this about a week and some time after the last one because I did get very sick and I went to the ER and now I'm just all Gucci. Uh, one thing that I want to show off real quick, um, cranberries, what do they sell for? Just, just to check this out real quick. I do know what I need to do today. 75, okay, so a cranberry sells for 75. I'm going to just put those in the seed maker and just let that sit for a while while I go do my chores. I do have to make sure to give my duck some love every single day because the the duck actually giving us the duck feather is based on its friendship. And ho I hope that we're going to be able to hit a good amount of friendship. I might as well put the duck egg in there because of all the eggs because I think it's one of the better ones. I think it's a better increase. Anyway, so we have uh, seeds. These give us, that was one seed? That was one seed. It's fine, I guess. That one was three seeds. Okay, so two seeds on average. Uh, we will sell these at, actually, can you sell seeds at Pierre's? Yeah, I'll pop them in. We'll see how much they sell for, just to make a note of it. Because I believe it's actually worthwhile for cranberries specifically, if you don't have room in kegs and all that, to put cranberries in. Oh, geez. I'm going to grab a bunch of these and just slap them in everything we have. If you don't have enough preserves, jars, or kegs, and obviously they take a very long time, you can just turn them into seeds, and theoretically you should get a higher profit than you put into them. So, just a thought. I forgot that I did up my uh, farm here. I'm really liking it. Anyway, uh, one thing that we absolutely need to do is get a rabbit. And I don't know if we did that last time. Oh god, man, I should have edited the last video before I went on and did this. I also should probably check how much it is, because we, we don't... There's not a rabbit in here, right? I'm not going crazy. Is that a... Did I just see a diagonal angle for the chicken? Not something you see very often. We don't have a rabbit, confirmed. Uh, I need to check and see how much a rabbit is and then kind of sell as many cranberries as we need to properly get that. Also, I guess we might as well check our... Uh, greenhouse while we're here. I also absolutely need to complete that ectoplasm thing. Yeah, obviously everything's going to be taking quite a while. Don't worry about all that. Did I not uh, fertilize the ancient seeds? That would be a pretty good one to put some speed grow on. Now that I think about it. Just, you know, off the top of my noggin. I'm going to grab a few gifts for the people around town. What have we given for gifts? Shane has only gotten... Shane doesn't matter because he's full. Everyone above here is full. Except for Lewis. We need to get Lewis up, uh, but he's already gotten his two gifts. Be nice if we can max him out just so he wouldn't be... Uh... Oh, we've given a lot of gifts. Okay, I need to give gifts to people that I don't normally give gifts to. Um, I was going to bring a gold star coconut to Linus because it's one of his loved items. Little did I know. Why do I have a coffee bean? I'm just going to put the sturgeon row in there the coffee bean away yeah I have uh if I'm going to be honest I have no idea what I was doing with everything in my inventory when we left off I have a tapper I think I was going to tap one of these out here things I have a hoe yeah I have a hoe um yeah we're gonna check how much money we need for a rabbit and then I'm going to sell as many cranberries as I need to to get that money and cheese I suppose oh it is Friday so I suppose we could check the traveling merchant as well not it's not too important now though that's nice to think of eight thousand oh yeah we have enough 
I don't know why I thought I it was 1,800 or 18,000. Uh, Rusa, did anyone want to be a rabbit? Yes, I'm glad I checked. Okay, uh, animated pretzel wanted to be a rabbit. I thought I had remembered. Uh, I don't think anim anime pre I could do anime pretzel. I'll just do pretzel because I don't want to ruin a name that otherwise would be okay as pretzel. Yeah, I didn't think animated would fit in there, but pretzel is a great name for a rabbit. I'm all about that. All right, what do you got for me? Star fruit, <laughs> don't need that. Barbed hook, stuffing, stuffing, stuffing? Why am I, hold on. No, I thought stuffing was one of the things that Caroline loves. Caroline's birthday is coming up. I thought for a second, large goat milk if I wanted to complete the animal bundle that way. Plum pudding, pumpkin seed. There's that rare crow again if you haven't bought it. I definitely recommend it if you see it because you're going to have to get it in the holiday if you want to get... Here's the thing. You get a recipe by getting all the rare crows. And that's why I'm getting them all because for completion requirements, you need... Well, I don't remember actually if it's completion requirements or if it's for uh, just an achievement that you craft every item the game has for you. Well, rabbit is made. Eventually, we will be getting a rabbit's foot from that and that will complete another thing that we need for our bundles which is only rabbit's foot duck feather red cabbage but all three of those are being worked on and that's literally it and i think the red cabbage is probably going to be the last thing yo you probably like cranberries okay <laughs> i've given everyone two gifts you hate to see it i live in the city the year went by so fast i'm sure all right, well, in that case, uh, not much else to do for now, except, I mean, there's many things to do, but I want to go to the mines. I need to give Sam a cranberry. I need to get that ectoplasm from the ghost. For anyone who forgot, we have a curious substance, extremely rare ectoplasm found in slain ghosts. What is this, midnight carp? You're not getting a midnight carp, Jody. You're not getting a Midnight Carp. Just to make sure that nothing's on the Help Wanted board. Empty. And our next birthday isn't until the 7th for Caroline. And then right after we have the Festival of Ice, which is not a major event. In fact, none of the holidays in winter are really much of a major event, to be honest. I guess the Night Festival is, but it's not really... A ho it's not considered a holiday in the way that other holidays are. You're allowed to freely go in and out every day. Uh, time passes normally. So, things like that. Uh, I think, so now that we have the rabbit bot, I am 100% allowed to spend money completely as I see fit. You know what? You would like a gold star cheese, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. You know who else would like a gold star cheese? Maru. Yeah, yeah, you would. I really need to start focusing on getting everyone up. I ideally in my, how many dialogue lines do you have? That sounds interesting. Um, ideally, I was going to have everyone maxed out by the end of winter, but I think we all know that that's not gonna happen. Uh, what are we looking at next? Cause we already have, Slime Hutch would be nice. Slime Hutch actually got a bit of a boost in 1.5. So it used to be a very useless, kind of uh, way of income, but now it could be useful. Stable would be a really good one too. In fact, you know what? I think we're gonna get that one next. That'll unlock a faster form of movement. If you can't figure out what that form of movement is, I'll, I'll let that sit. I'll let you sit on that one for a little bit. One other thing that we actually do need to show off now that I think about it is we did complete the foraging bundle the same time we completed the crop bundle. And what that actually unlocks is this bridge over here that's been knocked out for so long that leads over to the quarry. I should have brought um, bombs, but basically you're going to find tons of ore nodes here. Just all around the place. This is a great way to get your mining level up because you can just straight up see everything. And also these will respawn over time. 
Uh, it's not like a full reset every day like you'd expect the mines to be. Nothing like that. Also, I'm playing around with my iridium pickaxe, huh? You can see that it still takes two hits to get uh, gold. Not three like, like it used to be, though. I could tap this tree. Oh! Yet another secret note! Uh, what is that? Mermaid- Ooh! That's a good one. That's a really, really good one. You love to have that one. Well, I'm glad I'm not gonna have to wait for that one, because uh, a lot of these, that's one of the ones that, for example, you can do whenever, but I would have liked to have the note first, and I'm glad that I did get the note first. Um, there's a cave there. There's something to do, but I don't want to do it yet, because I really want to get this ghost. And yes, there is a minecart there, so it's uh, some more fast movement. How did I find a ghost fish with one before I found ectoplasm? That's my second ghost fish, isn't it? Those aren't easy to find through those. I found two secret notes. I guess I can go over them now because I don't know if I'm going to find another ghost. Okay. Not sure if that's supposed to mean much other than... That's that. Wait, that's not Jet. Is that Marnie on the bottom? I really don't know. I should have studied. Page from someone's diary. There are only a few older bachelors in town, and none of them are perfect. Harvey is really anxious and weak, but I know he would make a lo loyal and devoted husband. He likes coffee and pickles. Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic, but he does have a nice chin. He likes crab cakes and pomegranates. Chain is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior is a defense mechanism, insulating his softness from the world. He likes beer, pizza, and pepper poppers. There's your guide to all of the men. If you want it, I suppose. I uh, I don't have a ton more time. I can do like a trip or two. Oh, look at that. And watch, it'll be the one. It'll be the one. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot, right? For that juicy ectoplasm. This is really starting to suck. It's like a, I checked it. I believe it's a 12% chance for them to show up. And I've killed more than 10. That's for sure. This is gonna cut it really close soon and I'm not excited for that. How many days? Three days left. One more check. One more check. If he's not here. Okay, if he's not here. Okay, I can kill you and maybe pass out in my front yard. Please get out of the wall. Okay. Dude! Get over here! Good lord! I wouldn't have happened to get a level here. I did! No, I already had that. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, we have 40% more for artisan goods, which means uh, cheese is going to slap. Nothing. Oh my god. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. I know I have important things in that chest, but... What are you gonna do? I don't want to lose out on my- I mean, not that energy has really been a problem lately, because I haven't really been gunning it in anything, but still. I'd rather not, you know, get completely cucked out of my energy. A lot of things going in there. Uh, pretty good day in the mines, I suppose, other than, you know, everything. I got a, some crocus. I got a lot of dwarf scrolls. That was weird. A good uh, item to get. Like, I have three gulf dwarf, dwarf scroll twos, another dwarf scroll four, and another one, but I still have not found a three. You hate to see it. You really do. Well, gonna go to sleep before I pass out, I suppose. Yeesh. I mean, hey, all of our days are going to be, like, completely mines days. Okay. Cranberry. Oh, man. So we... Hold on. No, no, no. We did, we still got a gain from this. Cranberry seeds sell for 60 each. We got two per cranberry, and cranberries sell for 75. So we would have gotten 150 from the cranberries and said we got 240. There's a fun trick for you. And the mayonnaise is selling for more because we have artisan. That's really good. Really good. Yeah, I, I absolutely recommend the artisan thing unless you're doing like mass farming of like uh starfruit 
in that case, you might be worth uh, getting the agricultural, which makes all of your crops grow 10% faster all the time. Good morning, dear. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. You're not cold? <laughs> it looks even better than I remember. Here, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Oh! So if you didn't have the greenhouse, at least you'd have a garden pot to uh, plant in. That's basically a one tile for farming. And you can use it as you would a greenhouse. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. They also look nice outside, but out here they can only house in-season crops. Which would be nothing. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Neat. And now we have the recipe for it as well. Have a great day. Yeah, those are... It's really nice. It's mostly used for uh, decorating purposes in your house. Five fertilizer. Oh gosh, what will I do with my life now? Got an unusual request. Could you keep this secret? I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stone until it's from me. Oh no. That's not going to end well, buddy. I'll tell you what. Didn't you already give up on her? Because, you know, you saw us getting at it. Not getting at it, but you know. You know what I mean, right? You know completely what I mean. Well, to the animals. I guess I can show you the rabbit in a second after I milk my cows. I need to start emptying out my uh, inventory a little bit here as well. Pigs are a good one to make sure that you get their friendship up. It's already one and a half hearts. Get that to full and I believe. What do we buy it for? 16,000? I think you can sell it for like 24,000. And there's baby wabbit. You love to see it. Still no duck feather, but I really don't expect it that soon. Duck mayonnaise is going to sell for a killing with the uh, agri- or whatever bundle thing. The, the profession. Also, have we been getting a duck egg every single day? No, we didn't get one today. I feel like we've been getting it pretty consistently when it's really supposed to be every other day that you're getting the duck eggs. I guess just to make a point of it, I'll go down. We have seven sturgeon now. Go down here just to show you all of these. They're not dead. They just look dead. You hate to see it, but we'll get more of those in a hot second. It's wanting me to open this up. Yeah, bring an amethyst to Emily. That'll be easy enough. An orange, huh? That's a fun one. Not often you get that. Uh, definitely nothing's grown in the greenhouse yet. No reason to even check that. We just planted them, what, four days ago? If that. Don't worry about that. Well, I think we're just going to take another trip straight out. Um, it's You know what? It is useful to just keep putting these cranberries in every day. Because there is also a chance that you can get an ancient seed just from putting any fruit in there. Which can suck if it's a rare... A rare uh... Oh, sweet gem berry. Because then obviously, you know. You'd probably rather want the sweet gem berry at that point, but what you gonna do? Sucks to suck. Grab two more of these, because why not? Oh, man. Three, is that still gonna outdo it? Yeah, I think it will. Of course, we could also just plant those in the greenhouse, and it's not going to be bad for us. Uh, actually, if we could get to... Ooh. If we could get to 5,000 gold real quick. There's five cranberry seeds. That'll outsell it. Let's get to 5,000 gold. We'll be able to upgrade one of our tools to gold. It's all already to gold. I keep forgetting that. Never mind. I'm dumb. Dumb and stupid. Well, I imagine that at this hour, we're probably going to find Emily in her house. In her room, we'll give her an amethyst from Clint so we don't have to keep that waiting. Oh, my favorite stone, you're so sweet. Huh? It's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it from, it's beautiful. Thank you, smooch. Ooh, even at like zero hearts, that's the response. And that, it doesn't do anything for you, it's just really, really sad for Clint. <laughs> It's literally for nothing. I'm, I'm sure you probably get a bit of friendship with Emily, but 
it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I hate to be kind of one note here, but it's back to the mines. <laughs> we really have not much else to do. I can give Harvey a Blackberry. No, I can't. Can't even do that. I've fought so many. That's eight just in this one run. Eight ghosts and nothing. The day's not over, but still, I, I'm going to have to give y'all a third day from this because this is getting ridiculous. A lead rod? I'm looking this up. Okay, I can't find the specific percentage chance that an enemy is special. But since that thing just dropped a lead rod, that means it was a special ghost, which it isn't denoted by anything visually. Uh, the only enemies that kind of give it away are slimes because they have a little star above their head. But you know we've only seen like three of those so far in the whole game. We found a special ghost before we found one that dropped ectoplasm. I, I have to just at this point kind of believe that the quest is bugged i don't i don't i really don't know i have no idea this is wild this is wild i'm just throwing away days at the ghost this you you have have to be it and it's of course it's midnight it's gotta hover in the wall for an hour sorry if i'm agitated because this is not supposed to happen it's a 9.5 percent drop i know i incorrectly said 12 percent before 9.5 percent i have killed at least 25 ghosts total like at, at least i have i have to, it's listen it's like one of the best items in the game you get from this quest in the game I can't give that up. I don't think I'm going to get to bed in time. Yeah, so might as well just gaff about for a little bit before we clutch it out. It's really, it's getting kind of, I have 172 iron ore from that one trip. Well, I think it's safe to say I'll never need iron again. Uh, Cole's getting a little bit about everything's abundant literally I'm finding I found two diamonds in this one little set of trips it's getting a little ridiculous uh, found a lead rod oh I did find another secret note X marks the spot uh, I guess we'll dig there tomorrow and see what it has just so we can have some content I suppose uh, hey hold up Hold up. Uh, how many? I guess it, it doesn't really matter what kind of holly. We can make seeds, can't we? Can't we? What? Where are they? Snow yam. I'm missing yams, dude. For some reason, I thought uh, hollies were part of it. It's not. I found f six frozen geodes. Uh, I guess the ghost fish can go into the ghost fish spot up here. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else for me to do except go for it for one more day. I, ha I have to get it tomorrow or else our time's up. It's the final day. It's wild. And I, I'm gonna, this will be a three day or we're going to go on to odd days for videos, which is definitely going to mess me up, but. I've given you nothing, and you've enjoyed nothing for a while now, so. I'll try to put a little bit of substance into this day, I suppose. Uh, Queen of the Sauce, a new one. Plum pudding. Little Jack Horner is chomping at the bit for this ooey-gooey delight. And who can blame him? The plums are floral and sweet, with just the right amount of tartness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. You'll just have to try it and see for yourself. Learned how to make plum pudding. Well, that's good that we didn't have that before. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Festival of Ice. Oh yeah, since I'm doing three days here, we're going to have uh, Carolyn's birthday today. And unfortunately, we're not going to have anything that she loves because it's just about all cooked items. Uh, the event will take place in the forest starting between 9 and 2 p.m. Don't be late. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Good thing I read that because I would have completely forgotten. Displeased. Good. Maybe there will be a ton of ghost spawns. Maybe God himself will try to smite me. 
Hello though, Rob. So, your first year in Stardew Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have some ex exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Yep, that happens. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Pierce seeds are the highest quality seeds you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. There is, for the record, no difference, other than price. Tomorrow we're gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There will be snowmen, ice sculptures, and ice fishing competition. Ri arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Kind of a tight window there to participate. Good. Well, I guess on the docket today we're going to... I think we might have a duck feather. I want to say it's just intuition. No, nothing. We have eggs, imagine that. But no duck feather. That's okay, it's only day seven. Little baby pretzel. Nice, well, okay. A uh, few things we need to do then. We need to, what was I saying before? Ugh, I don't know, I'll think about it for a second. If it appears I f I'm frazzled, I absolutely am. I, I really want this item that you get from this. It's super good. And here's the thing. I need to be able to get this before the end, like... I need to get this before, like, 5 p.m. Because I need to be able to get it to Rasmodius before he closes his door, basically. I guess just out of curiosity. I don't think anything's grown, but has anything grown? Not even close, baby. Wait, is that red cabbage close? It's certainly close. I'm not going to eat the wild plum. Uh, maybe that was a quicker crop. Maybe it's like seven days. Not that it matters because we're really waiting on the... Uh... Last day for it to grow. Those should all be done by tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be waiting on the rabbit's foot and duck feather anyway. So not too big of a deal. No, I'm literally opening this. Let me put things away. Well, let's see. For her birthday, do we have anything wild? I mean, we have silver grapes. I think that's going to be our best bet. Gold hops. I don't know if people really like hops. That would be a stretch for sure. Yeah, I think uh, silver grapes is going to be what Carolyn gets. I think this might actually max her out as well. Because uh, she's kind of close to... Maxing out. I see that crystal fruit. You can't hide from me. Oh, what else was I going to do? Uh, traveling carts down. I don't think I really need to check it out because I do have a red cabbage seed now, so I'm okay. I mean, also, like, I don't think red cabbage seeds are sold in winter. Just as a heads up. Pretty sure it's a fall thing. Or uh, every other season thing. I could, of course, be wrong about on that. I don't know for 100% sure. So, challenge me on it. Go for it. Heated shop? Oh, I was like, what? what's heated about it? What's hot, dude? No, he literally means, like, birthday gift. Thank you. Oh, that was a neutral, wasn't it? Oh, I was thinking of Jody, not Carolyn. Well, I think that gave us another heart or two with Carolyn, at least. So... There's a little progress, I suppose. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Anything else we needed to do? Not really. We can kind of just uh, schmoove right into the mines for now. I'll give up at 5. If I don't get it by 5, I don't think there's a chance I'll get it to Rasmodius in time. So I'm just going to have to go at it. Another special slime. Well, another special enemy, rather. Thermal boots. Neat. It's... Uh, it's just one drop. It's one, one! 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 I need to get it once. Once. Alright. Last ghost. Last ghost before my... Uh, suspicions are proven to myself. You're kidding. I... G 
gotta get going. <laughs> That's for sure. Good God, really? Really that many? I feel like I feel like with something as important as that, it should at least be like a oh, if the player doesn't grab it in I'm gonna grab a coffee real quick. I think that's a good idea for myself. Um I feel like that should be a case where oh, the player hasn't gotten it in ten ghosts, the eleventh is guaranteed, you know? That makes sense to me. I also am not 100% sure if the if Phrasmodius Modius closes his doors exactly at 6 or like if it's 5.30 or something. So I'm playing it safe. Uh, also, what's this? 12 o'clock noon sharp, last day of the season. Oh, we've literally already did that. That was in the game before uh, notes were in the... Well, no, you know, that's not sh true. I don't know when notes became a thing. Hey, since we're here. Pale ale, cranberry candy... Fall seeds. Hey, you never know. There could be something nasty here. Stone slab. Halibut. Rasmo. Oh. Uh. Hello? Here. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. That probably put me below max with you, didn't it? Rasmodius, please. It's brimming with the energy of forgotten souls that only took seven whole days. Perfect. Now be gone, I shall require the perfect silence to discern the true nature of the substance. Yo, have a blackberry. Thank you, this will prove useful, I think. That's definitely a neutral. Uh, still zero. Huh, I guess that didn't really do a lot for his, uh, friendship. I observed the local villagers in secret. I'm hoping to find an apprentice. Someday I'll leave this mortal plane, but my arcane pursuits must continue. Pursuits, not pursuists. My bad. Can't interact with that. Odd. Yeah. Uh, Rasmodius is definitely someone I need to give a little bit more attention to. Well, we did it. 2,500. Gave us 10,000. That's enough to get the, uh... What were we getting? The stable? Before we end off the day, I think it's fair that we just explore a little, because I haven't done anything. Haven't done jack. Oh, I couldn't dig there. You can only dig on the paths in certain areas. Look at that, three winter roots. This can actually, oddly enough, be a good way to get a decent source of money. Because with the winter roots and uh, snow yams coming out of those, you never know. Might just get the mother load or something like that. Anyway, uh, there was that one secret note that we read that had a secret spot in the corner of town, and I think it's worth that we check that out real quick what is up shane you're already maxed out and i don't want to risk giving you a blackberry that you probably won't even like hey what's what's popping at the star drop do you like these sure uh you like these sure <laughs> i don't know i don't always have the page pulled up with me you like these sure it's sunday might as well get stupid with it right yeah yeah. No reason to ruin anyone I'm already on the bad side or on the best side possible with. Gus, don't you want don't you want a blackberry? I should do this more often. Uh it's only like a handful of people that really don't like blackberries. I would like to see what you have on tap. Chocolate cake. No thanks. I'm good. See now wasn't that fruitful. Oh, my boy, you, do you have anything to say about that thing you did for us? Don't you have work to do? Oh, he doesn't like us. You know what? You know what'll get him to like us? Maybe some refined quartz? Thanks. That's a, that's a fat neutral. To be fair, I think everyone else would be disliked towards refined quartz, because, you know, I'd prefer, as a human being myself... I think I would prefer a regular quartz as opposed to refined because it has the stank of capitalism all over it and I think it's a little too late to salvage it. It's a good spot for some digging. I believe this is the spot. Go to our collections of secret notes. Oh yeah, that's the last spot, secret notes. Boom. One of these is a picture. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look about the same? 
Boom. Strange doll. Gunther could tell you more about this one. Ah, uh, you might have to hold off on that. Hey, finally. I can pan for ore. Maybe. Wouldn't mind getting a turn one lucky ring from that. Fun fact, if you are out panning, the so your luck stat determines how many panning spots you'll get and also what you get from panning spots. If you pan from the same spot more than once, you will get the same exact thing on a given day. So if there were a panning spot to appear back at that gold, where I got that gold, it would once again be five gold. So just a fun little fact I thought I'd throw on you because... Uh, I heard a panning spot appear. You heard the little bloop of water? That means a panning spot has appeared. Uh, of course, it could mean anywhere on the entire screen. It could be the tippy top of the river. It could be at the very bottom. Who's really to say? All we know is it'll always be in a place that we can reach. We also need to hoof it on home after this, I think, as well. Unfortunate, dude how long that took i mean i'm glad i obviously i'm glad we got it but that was that was kind of sad i i fully devoted three whole days for that well i guess i didn't fully devote the first day or this day but the sixth that was all in the mines uh at least i did it and our reward is going to be a absolutely fantastic item and I'm also going to, eh, I'll craft seeds tomorrow. Just a wild amount. Just curious because I'm, oh, I'm not going to find out how much it sells for because it's going to be in between episodes. I hate that you can't put uh, equipment in there. I guess it's to save you from just throwing away your good stuff, I suppose. I suppose Strange Doll can go in there. I'm just kind of organizing things out for now. Yeah, salmon berries ready. Just get some things done before the end of the day. You know what? It's 11. I thought for some, for some reason that I would have lowered energy after 10. No, I'm actually going to do this now. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. We're just going to make a ton of winter seeds. And I'm going to go ahead and plant these bad boys. Because why not? Unfortunately, I didn't get full level 10 foraging before we got our first harvest of all of these but that's honestly fine because harvesting these will probably get us to level 10 foraging in the in the end anyway so i'm okay with that yeah i know it's 12 i'll live somehow putting fertilizer on these isn't really required especially if we were to get to level 10 in foraging. All right, I don't have a lot, ton of time. Let's see how this fills it out. Of course, the sooner I put it down, the better. Oh, I just realized these aren't going to be watered. I'll have to water it too. Oh, disgusting. Ugh, 1240. I'll take the energy hit. I'll probably not get back in time anyway. Uh, I don't have anything too strenuous planned for tomorrow. In fact, it's going to be the festival, so... I don't think we need to worry about having lowered energy. I've just about used up all my energy I have for the mines anyway. I don't think I'm going to be heading back there in a hot second. I need to upgrade my uh, my pail to steel. That would be a good idea. Uh, I'm already blowing off time. Might as well put these cheeses away. I'm trying to give you substance. Substance that I wasn't able to give you the last two days. That'll do it. Before I pass out my front lawn, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you tomorrow when we do the first holiday of winter. See you all then, and good night.